I'm Tony Rathman, founder of Entity Voices Paranormal Investigations in Phoenix, Arizona, and this is my wife and co-founder, Cherie. We've been successfully researching paranormal activities across the United States for over eight years, including haunted hotels, historic locations, and contacting private homes investigations. Recently, we discovered an abandoned hospital located in the original mining camp of Ajo, Arizona. This building was built in the early 1900s and closed in the mid-1980s. This is a unique building because it's almost 100 years old and it's still standing, giving us the ability to not only tour it, but to investigate it. Normally, buildings of any age in Phoenix get torn down immediately and replaced. This building is still standing and available to be investigated. Recently, we had the opportunity to do some intense paranormal monitoring of this hospital. And over the hundreds of locations that we've experienced, in the very first night we were there, we heard babies crying in the pediatric section of the hospital. Okay, this room has the eeriest feeling of all of them so far. And they were smell. And we heard cries for help. and surgeons asking for instruments in the surgery center of the hospital. There were also other movements and footsteps down the now vacant halls. We have not seen this much paranormal activity from a single location. In pre-Columbian times, Arizona was part of the Aztecan civilization known as Aztlan. Hernán Cortés first arrived on the continent in 1511, destined to conquer the Aztecan Empire in 1521. Native Americans of this area told legends of a place 50 kilometers north of Rocky Point at the tip of the Sea of Cortés. The conquistadors were told of a place named Tres Minas, said to be three mountains of nearly solid copper and led by local natives to this enchanted land in search of gold and silver, of which it was said was lying around for the picking. In 1821, the Mexican War of Independence occurred, forcing the Spaniards to flee. Mexican and later U.S. miners arrived in troves to lay private claims, digging deep into the hazardous mountainsides. After the Gadsden Purchase of 1854, Arizona became part of the United States. In 1911, Colonel John Greenway, a notable Yale athlete, famed adventurer and survivor of the San Juan Hill Raids with Teddy Roosevelt's Rough Riders, was hired to manage the mine. He concluded, instead of the many deaths by the cave-ins, why not simply excavate a giant pit to get metal ores out? This became the first open pit operation in Arizona. Greenway imported a thousand East Coast workers for the pit operation to relocate the town to a nearby location and built a modern hospital that rivaled that of the East Coast. Over the years, Thousands and thousands of people died at the hospital via mining accidents, plague, influenza, childhood diseases, barroom brawls, and gunfight battles common in the Old West. Starting in the 1960s, labor strikes grew. Operations ceased in 1983, whereupon the hospital was abandoned. Yet, the folklore continues. Jose Castillo is a third generation miner from Ajo. Oh, yes, my father was born here, where the mine is at, used to be Oahu. And she, he was born in one of the tent houses and delivered by a midwife. Uh, and I myself was born in 1939 at the hospital. My grandfather worked for the mine. My father worked for the mine also. And I myself worked for the mine. A lot of people from the area that have died have been in the hospital. So a lot of people would come to Ajo Hospital, say even from Mexico, even from the reservation, even from Gila Bend, which is only 40 miles, to come to Ajo. It's uncomfortable We're trying to count all the people that have died here. Today, Entity Voices has negotiated with the owners to create the Copper Canyon Paranormal Research Center. This will allow investigators from across the country or even the world 
the opportunity to book a night of investigation, bring their own tools, and capture the paranormal activity that we have. Your evening will begin at 7 p.m. and end at 5 a.m. in the morning. This is a full 10-hour investigation. These investigations can be booked in groups of either 5 or 10, which allows you full access to the building, all three floors, and is only your group of investigators. There will be no outside influences, no outside noises, to give you the perfect opportunity to capture perfect paranormal evidence. To book an overnight private investigation, please visit our website, 